coming to you from the beautiful South Perth, overlooking the most, the best, the greatest city in the world. Is that right? And I got Wayne James, an action man here. Hey, Wayne. Hi. How you doing, everybody out there? And I uh, hope everybody's having a good time. And I just got to get a plug in for the uh, Desperate and Dateless Ball that'll be held on February 9th. So some of you young men and young ladies, if y'all don't have nothing to do and you're single, Come on down. There'll be some more details as we get going. So you mean uh, uh, old gray-haired married men uh, can't count? Need not apply, but uh, I'm, I think if we can get Tony Hasselbacker out there, that'll be a good start. Yeah, well, he's single. He's single and a damn good-looking guy, too. Bit of a stud he is, so I'm sure he'll be down there doing his thing. <laughs> and James, how you going? How you going, Moose? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like fun. We might have to just rock up and party with everybody out there. And uh, I'd like to give a plug as well while we're doing the plug thing. Plug uh, you heard of a, a place in Maylands called the uh, Hemisphere. It's the old Cascades or Maylands Pub. It's quite fantastic. As you know, we had a great time down there. Before. Did you? My old band. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, every Sunday night, they have the J-Babies there. They looked after us. Uh, we had a great time there last week, so yeah, get down, check it out. It's really, it's all awesome inside. They've really done it well. So good day to everyone down there. And uh, hey, Gummers. I'm doing well, and action man. And now for my plug, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got a plug as well. Now we have a rather large uh, Maori hungi. How large? Yeah, a hungi in March. So uh, with okay. the rugby club. Oh, so okay. when we get more info, we'll sort of tell you about it closer to the date. Yeah, so all you uh, Maoris and rugby boys and anybody who just likes a good hungy, I know I do, uh, it's going to be in March, we'll let you know about that. It's down in Rockingham, they're raising funds to send a bunch of young rugby players, uh, I think over east or somewhere, but we'll tell you a bit more about that as we get going. Yeah. Anyway, let's get the uh, balls and all rolling, and uh, I'm going to let you know what we're here about today, so uh, you guys can all just yeah, yeah. go away, just go away, you're finished. And I'm talking to John Paul, hey John, how are you? Pretty good, thanks, Moose. Now, tell us a little bit about what today is really all about. Okay, well, it's it's a beautiful day out here on the river. Um, the sad thing is, there's many underprivileged kids in Perth. Uh, the good thing about Australians and West Australians is that we've got many people willing to help them out and so today what we try to do is bring them together we've got people um, on jet skis we've got people parasailing uh, taking for biscuit rides taking them on rides on uh, the extreme boat and etc it's um so we got the parasailing so as you're driving down here you always come across the uh, the the narrows here off on the right you got the big parasailing group they're helping out today they're helping out yes it's great and we got uh, we got the jet ski association uh, helping out oh, it's, it's an association company yeah yeah, they're coming down. Uh, we've got uh, the extreme boat that's uh, in Fremantle. That's a pretty fast boat. Yeah, we had that All down. Right the next morning. to Jet Sport West. Hey, gone here we're with the donuts. We went on those, uh, but they're having a bit of boat trouble today. Yeah, uh, they're going to get that going in, in just a little while. So I think they did it on purpose. They heard that I wanted to go, so they said, "Oh, let's pretend the boat's broken." And what else is happening? Uh, well, we've got the Crystal Swan, as you can see, just across the river. That's coming down uh, later on, and um, uh, uh, Kim Blackburn and uh, Robbie Phyllis have uh, I actually brought my ging and some rocks for that. That'll be a lot of fun. That's the one with all the glass and all. That. Yeah, yeah, people in glass houses. Yeah. Stones, should they? Yeah, yeah. And um, we've got so that's coming down. That's going to take people around. Later on, um, at 12 o'clock, we've got a big lunch for all the kids. Uh, later on, we've got a regatta. We've got water ski displays, barefoot. We've got flyover happening. We've got, flyover. Some... We've got bathtubs going at 70 k's per hour on the river, which is unbelievable. And uh, the the uh, speed boats over there, over near the uh, the uh, causeway. Yeah, towards McCallum Park. That's yeah. that's later on uh, later on this evening, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Good. And what are you? going to be doing all day? What am I? I'm just going to be enjoying the sun. <laughs> no, I'm going to be helping out, uh, making sure everyone gets uh, enough to eat, making sure uh, people are getting on those jet skis and on the parasailing and just having a great time. And how's the response been so far? Because it's about uh, what, it's mid midday or we're getting close to that, 10, 10.30ish. About 10.30, yeah. Um, there's pe people being, uh, pe people have started to come in now and uh, we've got plenty of people coming on the Crystal Swan. We've got them all, uh, all the kids on the Crystal Swan at the moment. That's going to South Perth, picking up more kids and they're all coming down here having having a bit of jet ski and then having some lunch. Fantastic. So we got uh, jet ski rides for kids but the whole thing it's really and we see someone actually who's uh, a lot of disabled people here who are I see we some actually have someone who's normally in a wheelchair they're up there riding the jet ski. Exactly and so I mean the, these these people it's the whole idea is just to give them a great day we've got a beautiful we've got a beautiful weather out here so let's give them a great day some fun some speed. <laughs> and it's really innate of saying thank you to everybody who helped out uh, for the Christmas appeal 
we see Father Brian wandering around here. We'll try and catch up with him. Well, that's that's great. We we had a on 21st of December we had a um, a, a Christmas uh, carols for kids at Gloucester Park. Gloucester Park helped out a lot with that, and we had um, all proceeds going to uh, Father Brian's Christmas Appeal and Princess Margaret Hospital. And there were plenty of entertainers that gave their time. The Perth Concert Band, um, the uh, Perth Christian Choir, just to, just to name a few. I was uh, going to come on and sing my big hit, the Jarrah Junction song too, but uh, yeah, I was booked out that night. Uh, yeah, or well, you weren't invited. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> that threw you off, didn't we? We told all your fans you were booked out when they yeah. asked for oh, you that another night. Yeah. Uh, uh, what did that one fan say? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he cried. He cried. He, he looked a bit like you, actually. Yeah. <laughs> did I have a mustache? Uh, did he have a mustache? Yeah, and he had this weird pink nose and yeah. big, thick eyebrows, but. Um, yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> but we, it's, a, it's a thank all the entertainers there. They, they, we, we said, come down, let's meet some of the kids, let's meet some of the people that you raise money for, and um, let's, have, let's have a great day, let's put everyone together, those who want to help, uh, help people, and some of the underprivileged in Perth, and let's everyone have a great day. Cool. Now I see a lot of people walking around uh, like with bandanas. Does that represent anything in particular, or is it just a style, or what's happening there? Could be just the sun. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, they, that's um, that's uh, there's kids from uh, there's kids who have had uh, cancer. Yes. There are there's kids who um, there's kids who from from uh, Rocky Bay. There's ki there's kids from a variety. There's even three places. goons around the place as well. You know? Yeah. The the uh, some people do anything to get on TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. I can. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to be wandering all over. Thanks, John Paul, for that. That's great. We're going to be wandering all over the place. Uh, and we're going to be on the uh, the Crystal Swan. We're going to try and get these guys in a maybe one of the donuts. If I can just find a knife or something, so I can uh, help it deflate really quick. Oh, they're back. And uh, so what about the knife. Uh, yeah, something about sticking it in and twisting it or something. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to be wandering all over. Uh, hope you enjoy the show. We're trying to uh, raise awareness us to, uh, to say thank you also to the people who helped out with the, uh, the Children's Appeal, Father Brian and everyone. We're going to be catching up with as many people as we can and just show you some of the things that go on and also uh, highlight a bit of summer stuff, a bit of summer activity. So, uh, it is summer. You're yes. joking? Yeah. Yes. I wasn't sure. Then I got up this morning and I felt the sun on my back and I said it's summer. We need to put something in there say words of wisdom from Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wayne's little uh, Wayne's, wisdom. The Wayne's little words of wisdom. Right. And I, I got some more words of wisdom. Everybody out there, we need some fun so we can fix up these holes on Action Man. If you look yeah. at Action Man's shirt, yeah, he has shot. a few holes. He's been shot a couple of times well, in the line of duty. Um, the and we, we want help for him. We don't want to be wearing nice shirts and have him out here looking like he's just been shot. So help us out, please. Okay, too. Don't forget, uh, the thanks to everyone, too. We would have had a great time because we actually filmed this ahead. Uh, at the wrestling a uh, couple nights ago, it would have been great. And don't forget, get involved in sports. That's what our show is all about, getting you to get involved. All right, now uh, we're going to be kind of wandering around, so who knows where we'll turn up. Now I'm speaking with Father Brian. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks, James. How are you going? Well, oh, having a great time. It's a beautiful day down here. Yes, uh, this is tremendous. Hey, have a look at this, the, the water and the... The people, oh, what a day for it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, can you tell me a bit about the Christmas Appeal? What's it all about, Father? Well, it's a 25th year, James, in which we try and get together and try and add something extra to a lot of people who are in need. Mm -hmm. Every year, the last six or seven years, it's just got harder and harder for families for all kinds of reasons. Yeah. And uh, the companies get together. All the agencies got together this year, 59 of us, right. uh, together with all the mines, uh, the complete mining industry of Western Australia. Mm -hmm. And I would think, James, at this stage we could say very clearly that not one single family who was in need went without. It yeah. was a phenomenal, a phenomenal success. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. And thanks to so many people. Yeah. Was we, we, in fact, we're, tr we're trying to write thank you letters now, yeah. and that'll take us till next year. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, doing things for the community. And it's all going. What is today basically about? Is it just to raise more funds for that? No, this is a, a sort of. We had a night at the Trots, mm -hmm. and it was for funds for the Family Christmas Appeal, mm -hmm. and the other half share 
goes to the children's hospital because yep. uh, everybody's supporting and getting as much research done and research buildings uh, and, and new equipment and everything for yeah, them. Yeah. So we had that and then um, that amazing man Ron, Ron Mason from Homestart who mm -hmm. put it all together, Ron said well let's have a, a picnic, yeah. bring all the children and sort of say thank you to everybody yeah. and that's what about. It's oh. not a fundraiser day, just okay. a, a real picnic day and we, okay. um, Homestart and all those are supplying everything for us. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Go right ahead, Father. Oh, yeah, you can take the where did, no, 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 where did the... What does balls and all mean? Um, well... I watch it. I watch it. I know, but it's... Where did it start? <laughs> well, basically, it started uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, um, basically, me and Moose were sitting up front, and uh, we were, I came over and seen him, and uh, at the time the channel was started, we were both involved in gridiron at the time. We thought, why don't we do a half-hour gridiron show? Because, you know, uh, over all the years, we've gotten, like, a minute coverage and all sorts of stuff. So, um, then... It started. Yeah, See, then I, I shock the, peop my, the people in my church. But I come outside and I say, oh, you watched Access 31? It's a great program, bulls and all. Yeah. And I, oh, but what, what's that program again? Yeah. <laughs> what rating is it? <laughs> Where are we? Yeah. That's great stuff. Yeah. Thank you very much. I've got to say, like I said, I, uh, I felt uh, I was very grateful. I was called in to do um, a silly mid-off mm -hmm. um, with the crew. And uh, I said then and I say again that you won the hearts of Western Australia because uh, the big players uh, have all the contracts and they're juggling them around to suit themselves and we were missing out and since then you've won in huge numbers of well you know yourself but another you've won huge viewers and good programming thank you very much for watching father I yeah. appreciate that it's a pleasure no worries okay is there any upcoming events you can uh, tell us about so we can uh, get some more people down to support this great uh well I think the, the main thing we've we've got there coming up is uh, a sort of a food appeal mm -hmm. um, when they go back to school uh, it's a lot of trouble trying to buy books yeah feed the kids, mm -hmm. uh, pay school fees, that sort of thing. Yep. So we like a lot of, uh, we'll accept a lot of uh, non-perishable food yep. from, from people and we'll make sure it goes to the families who are struggling yep. to make sure the kids get to school looking good with their books and whatever they need. Yeah, that's fantastic, Father. Is there a phone number anyone can ring if they want to help yep. out this great cause? Yeah, 9481 yep. 4050. One more time for the camera. 9481 4050 and us for the big man. The big man. Not Moose, of course, just the big man. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to your father, and thank you very much for watching the show. Thanks, James, very much. Thank you, everybody. And we're going to go to a break. So stay with us after these short messages. because that's what we were doing, breaking. Now, um, I'm here is talking to Steve and Nicole, and can they tell us what's going on here? How you doing, Steve? Yeah, good, Wayne, good. We're having a good time. We're here helping the kids out. Uh, Jet Sport West uh, Boating Association, the club's been going for about 15, 20 years. We do lots of things for the community, and uh, we're here helping the kids out, giving them a ride on the ski. Some of these kids haven't even been on water, so uh, it's a real experience for them. And we're talking to the lovely Nicole. How you doing? Good, thanks. How you doing? Uh, real good. That's a nice Catwoman suit there, too, by the way. Now, um, if you could tell us a little bit about your involvement. Yeah, we're having a great day today down here with all the kids just helping out and just, yeah, making sure they're having a good time. Now, let's say somebody doesn't know a clue about this and what have you. Um, you know, how do you guys set them up and get them comfortable in the water? Uh, we just make sure that they're comfortable, put a life jacket on them, and we just take them for a ride. Oh, that's good. Well, I mean, we got a couple of people in the crew that are used to being taken for a ride, so this, we, we, <laughs> we should be all right on that score. <laughs> now, uh, you guys have been going for quite some time now, and uh, this project today, I see you guys got a lot of people coming down, and uh, it's a big family event, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot to do with the family. I mean, uh, we're here trying to help the kids out. Uh, a lot of these kids are orphans. Uh, a lot of them are coming from children and family services, um, and the club does lots of things for the community. Last weekend, we rode our rot Rottnest Trek all the way to Rottnest Island, uh, raising money for Princess Margaret Hospital, and uh, we're involved in Seniors Day, Seniors Week, uh, so it all happens, yeah. Beautiful. I mean, I see a lot of kids and people having a good time out here. Actually, we're going to have one of our action men. Maybe you can help him out, Nicole. Action man is going to get on one of those jet skis, and uh, he's going to put his life in you guys' hands. How do you feel about that? 
No problem. <laughs> I'll take him for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit scary. She was too happy to do that. Uh, now, if there's a phone number that uh, anybody wanted to get in contact with you guys, what's the number? Okay, 0411 Oh, good on you. Now, if we could just have that one more time, if while he's doing that, if you could just be singing while he's doing that, Nicole. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, in the phone book, Tetsport, West 0411 603 444. All right, then. Well, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, wish you every success today. It's a fantastic job, what you guys are doing today, and I'm sure the kids and the families alike appreciate it, so thank you very much. Thank you, Wayne. Thanks, thanks so Wayne. Much. Bye. All right, then. Well, we're going to go. We're just going to be all over the place. There's no telling where we'll be, so uh, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, thanks, Wayne. Now, I'm here talking to Victor Carrasco from Wake Up WA. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, mate. Almost sounds like a band name, doesn't it? Uh, does it? I don't know. It's like we do wakeboarding, tube riding, skiing, kneeboarding and that. Right. We mainly suit it up for um, wakeboarding with a big wakeboard tower on it. And um, we actually load the boat down for bigger wakes and that. It's, oh, it's bigger weights. So. Hey. Oh, oh, really? Oh, hey, they go bigger and better, eh? Hey. Yeah. That's right. Now, we see there's like uh, Jet Sport West. We went out with uh, Robbie and all that. Yeah. And uh, there's another, I don't know their name here, and you guys are here. Extreme Ski. Extreme, Extreme Ski, yeah. yeah. They do more skiing, yep. Okay. They, they also do tube riding and kneeboarding and that. And we're right yeah. next to the Nara. So if somebody actually wants to come down, first of all, what are you guys doing? You're, you're taking kids for rides? Yeah, we're going to take kids out for a ride today from about 1.30 to 2.30. We'll take them out tube riding and that. Yeah. Yep, all for free. We actually do, yeah, like I said, wakeboarding more than anything. Right, now, if somebody wants to have a ride, what's best to do? Just come down here? Uh... Yeah, you better off booking. Just uh, ring up the number, 0402 476 487. We're under the narrowest bridge here, just off Mill Point Road. Yeah. And there's free car park here, so it's all good. Cool. Uh, yeah, just come down with the family and go out for a tube ride. All right, how'd you get hooked up in all this? Oh, mate, I used to do wakeboarding with my mate before, but he left overseas and he, um, he wound up selling the boat. And I, uh, yeah, one day I was bored at home and I thought I might start something up like this and I got in contact with the right people and off from there we've been here two seasons now and it's all good. Fantastic, yep. fantastic. All right, well, if you want to do a bit of uh, wakeboarding or come down right in the tubes, had a bit of fun just right here next to the Narrows, all kinds of stuff happening. And they've got behind this appeal today, and they're going to be taking kids out for a ride. And I think we're going to try to get James and Action Man out there, so we'll have a look at what's going on. Yeah, well, we could probably take him out for a spin on a wakeboard if he wants to give it a go. Yeah, yeah for let's sure. do we'll it, let's do it. Yeah, we'll do that, no worries, mate. Full on. Thanks for talking to us, Victor. Pleasure, mate. No worries, mate. All right. Well, uh, basically, uh, James, as you saw, was out there drowning at the moment, so we'll get back to him if he survives. But as we were walking along the foreshore, we see two uh, young superstars who are in the archery, so we'll have a word to them. How you doing? How you going? It's Nathan, right? Yeah, that's it. Nathan and I'm going to be psychic here, Dan. That's right, mate. Now, how long have you guys been involved in archery? Uh, about four years. Okay, then. And what got you involved? Um, well... To tell you the truth, I started before that, but that was when I came back competing. Uh, before that, I started when I was 13, and uh, it started as a high school thing, and uh, just sort of never stopped. <laughs> okay, and uh, when did he start dragging you along, Nathan? I oh, know, I really just I met him about a couple of years ago, so but I've been doing it for a bit longer, so you know, now, about six years. if somebody wants to get involved in this sport, what do they need to really work on to be very good and very skilled at this? Uh, focus, I guess. I, I, yeah, about, about it. Focus, train, train, train. Just um, stick to it. Okay, now let's talk in terms of equipment. If you could talk us through some of you guys' equipment and uh, what's it all about. Uh, Rightio. Um, this is basically called a compound bow. Uh, mine's a Matthews, as you can see. Um, it, okay, if you could just uh, hold it up for the screen so they kind of basically have an idea of what's, what's happening. Uh, got, uh, basically your sight there, um, your long rod which is uh, basically just to steady the shot down as well as uh, absorb some of the vibration because the arrows are actually moving at about 300 feet a second when they come off the rest of the bow. Wow. Um, so the string has to, from where I'm anchoring to there, uh, it has to accelerate to 300 feet and then stop again. So you can imagine there's a bit of shock going back through the bow and the stabiliser rod sort of helps uh, settle that down a bit as well as the, uh, the little weights that i got in there. Um, other than that, you've got your strings and arrows and... Uh, release aid and yeah, that's about it. Okay, now, um, and talking in terms of form, like if you could just hold that up towards the camera, so like let's say if you were actually shooting in competition so people can see what your actual form would be if you could talk us through that. Um, okay, 
<laughs> so you could just Okay, so that would be your basic form, and you're looking through this when that through the scope. That's that's my setup. Sort of just lining up, getting myself all into position. Then I sort of draw, and I settle myself into the bow. And I'm now looking, if you look through the little thing on the back of the string, that basically keeps me coming back to the same point every time. So. Yeah. Wow. Okay, then. Now, uh, Nathan, now, uh, being a young superstar like yourself, only two years into it, uh, six years into it. Okay, so you've been doing it for a while. Now, um, now when you're doing this, right, what is your preparation like prior to uh, doing something like this, like competition-wise? Uh, it really just comes down to a, a fair bit of training, and, um, yeah, that's about it. Just, yeah, just training. Okay, then no rituals, no like, uh, no, uh, no prayers, or anything, no. <laughs> no cutting off chooks' heads before you get. <laughs> that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Then. Now, what's coming up for you guys? I know you were talking in terms of the nationals. Yeah, we've got the uh, the national championships coming up in Sydney uh, in April, seventh uh, to thirteenth. So uh, me and Nathan will be going across for Western Australia along with the uh, the rest of the team. Um, uh, we've also got the Rico ladies and men's and. Uh, yeah, the break of uh, compound, also in lady and men's. Um, so yeah, that um, we've already had the state champs. Is yeah, that's about our next big event. So now, uh, how many people do you guys are you guys going to be taking across representing WA? I think there's 12, 12, yeah, 12, 13. Four, four compounders. Yeah, I don't really know the exact numbers. Yeah, so I think there's uh, four in each division. So you got your men's. And your ladies, and then you got your compound and uh, recurve as well. Um, so basically, four in them. So about uh, 12 to 16 somewhere in there. I'm not 100% on that one. So yeah. now, how did all Western Australia fare in the last time that you guys had that happen? Oh, I don't know. Actually, ask him. Yeah, I think, I think we actually uh, won the uh, nationals last year as a as a team. So uh, we did well because it was actually in Perth uh, last year. So that was a bit of a home court advantage. It was yeah, that was good. <laughs> well, good on you. Now that means you guys got to defend the title. Now, if somebody wants to get involved, just a little pressure on you. Now, <laughs> if someone wants to get involved, right? Is there a phone number that people can uh, reach and start to get involved in this sport? Let's say they want to get their kids involved or whatever. Uh, I don't know about a phone number, but um, if you get in contact with the Bowman and Melville or Bell Divers Archery Club. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to get in touch with uh, Bell Divers, their number is 524-1032. Um, yeah, just call them uh, on the weekend, it's about the best time. Um, other than that, uh, if you look in the yellow pages under clubs, you'll find, well, Bowman and Melville, Viocine, uh, there's also Sorrento and uh, Banara Bowman, which is up in actually Whiteman Park, that's our, um, our big centre for tournaments. Uh, yeah, basically there's archery clubs spread all over the metro area, so yeah, just look under clubs in the yellow pages, it'll be your best bet. Beautiful. Well, look, guys, uh, thanks for rep representing Western Australia. We wish you guys every success over there, and go over there and kick some butt over east. Well, well cheers, man. Thanks. No problem. Thanks for that, mate. <laughs> all right, there, guys. Now, we're going to be all over the place somewhere. I think uh, Action Man is now trying to stand up in the... Uh, with his little skis and stuff, so hopefully he won't die. If he survives, we'll come back to you shortly. How you going, Victor, anyway? Yeah, good, mate, good, good. Can you tell us a bit of the, what we did wrong? Oh, uh, just from just being us. <laughs> uh, no, just beginners, mate. There's things you got to, like, work on and stuff like that, but yep. you done well, you know, you gave it a go and you were up there. Yep. It's all right. Um, yeah, just not pulling so much on the rope when you get up, keeping your arms straight and all that stuff. It all comes with time. It's not hard to do, eh? It's, yep. uh, it's good. Okay, and uh, if anyone out here is uh, watching and thinking, because I mean I had an awesome time, hopefully me and Action Man will catch up with you and we'll try and do a day where we can actually stand and give it a go. For sure, mate. What days do you go, what does it cost and what's the number that people out there can call? Yeah, we uh, work from Tuesdays to Sundays from about 9 in the morning to sundown, so uh, we're here like almost every day. And Just for the summer is it obviously? Yeah, for the summer season until about April and that. We usually run through winter sometimes when people like, like King Wakeboarders and that come yeah, out even yeah. though it's raining and that. Yeah. And um, yeah, for a wakeboard, 15 minute wakeboard. You'll, yeah. you'll be looking at 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks, and uh, you can also do tube rides and that, which yeah. is $10 per person for yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. You get group deals and hourly rates and awesome, stuff like mate. that as well. Yeah, but I suppose if you ring up, say, your centre on balls and all, you look after them and get some more people out here, eh? See, man, just ring up uh, 0402 476 487. And uh, yeah, just ask for Victor, Gina, yeah. anyone that's here looking after the phone, because I'm usually out there on the <laughs> boat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for. 
interviewing us and uh, our sponsor, um, Universal Upholsteries, that put a bimini top on for yeah. us and uh, the white ball racks, they've done a great job. Okay, um, also off camera we were talking, uh, you wanted to get some sponsors to back you to get some woofers and stuff so people out there pump them up, you know, yeah, get them out, get them right, out there doing yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been trying to do, trying to get some people like stereo shops and that, yeah. whatever, if they're interested to like sponsor us with yep. a couple of subwoofers just for the riders. Yep. Just for customers, yeah. you know, like to ride and amp them up mm -hmm. when they're on tube riding. Yeah, when, when they're trying to do we wanna, it. We want to put them on the tower there, you yeah. know, so you're facing backwards yeah. and oh, awesome. for the wakeboarders and yeah. the tube riders just to amp them up. It's all good fun, eh? All they right. like the music and, you know, awesome. they go harder, so it's good. Thank you very much, man. Actually, man, we've had a great time. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, hopefully we'll come and see you again. We'll try and do a day where me and Actually, man get jumping and stuff. And uh, one more time, give us the number if anyone wants to get in contact. It's Waco WA 0402 467 on the Narrows Bridge off Mill Point Road. Just ask for Chili Dog, eh? That's the one, mate. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks, mate. All right. All right. We're just going to go to a break, so stay with us after these short messages. Welcome back from the break everybody. I just got out of the water and had a good drink of the swan. I don't recommend it to anyone. And uh, now we're on board the Crystal Swan and whilst I walked on, I seen someone I used to know. Daryl, how are you mate? My name is James, how are you going? Now uh, we actually, uh, well I didn't play when you played, but you actually used to play for the Broncos when I was a little kid. Um, yeah. A young lad? Still a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much has changed. Now uh, what's been going on? What brings you here today Daryl? Um, we've just come for an outing on the Crystal Swan with the family, just yeah. as a kid stay out. Yeah. yeah so. and, um, what else have you been up to lately? Um, nothing much, mate. Just keeping the family together. Yeah. yeah just working hard as well. Yeah. So, yeah. so you ever think about making a comeback to Gridiron? Or? Um, yeah, I have, but um, the wife... You know, oh, oh, he's, he's blaming you now, eh? Blame me all he likes, he's right. <laughs> so how are you anyway? Yeah, good, thanks, James. Yeah. Yeah. So is it your fault or is it his? But all the kids, no, no, no. or him going back to gridiron. <laughs> the gridiron thing. Uh, oh, a bit of mutual agreement. You can't have six kids and do gridiron. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, good seniors again anyway, and uh, we'll be catching up with Moose or Wayne around the area. So, uh, oh, yeah, before I go, I just got some orders from the uh, producer. Uh, what's your name? Bronte. Yeah. And your name? Darian. Yeah. And you want to say hi to anyone? What about your mum and dad? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's not true. What about you? you? Who do you want to say hi to? My friend Jessica yeah. and my friend Emily. Emily. All right. Uh, your mum and dad or no? That's all right. You are. Oh, they already know. All right. No worries. All right. Well, we'll be catching up with Moose and Wayne, so stay with me. Yeah, thanks, James. Uh, now I'm out here on shore with Ron, the guy who's put it all together. Hi, Ron. How are you? Hi, Moose. How are you today? Good, good. Now tell us what it's all about. Moose, we've got a whole bunch of kids here, as you can see behind us. Uh, these kids have come from orphanages. They've come from shelters. They've come from disadvantaged backgrounds all over Perth. We're just trying to give them a good day. And you've done a great job, and we talked to Father Brian before. Well, thank you. Father Brian's here. I think he might have left, actually. He has uh, some problem with the hospital today. But there's a whole bunch of people here. They're not wearing balls and all t-shirts, but they've got the same spirit. That's right. Now, uh, you, there's a lot of, lot of work's gone into this. Tell us a bit about some of the people who've got behind you here. Well, I think you'd have to include just about uh, most of the people in Perth that are involved with the food industry. Uh, you'll see later in the day uh, people uh, with, the, with the regattas. We've got people coming from the associations that are uh, part of the Aquatic Council. The Aquatic Council have authorised this event and have allowed us to do what we're doing on the river. What you've seen so far is just a very tiny part of what you're about to see, which is all the uh, the real activities up at the other end of the river when we go up near the causeway. Right, and we got the, the Preston uh, helicopters, we got the the uh, the moths, is it, flying over? Oh, there are chipmunks, four chipmunks, chipmunks that will be passing over the city at 3 at uh, three o'clock. From Jandicott, yeah, I see no. behind us we got sizzlers, uh, dominoes, uh, Jacks, hungry Jacks. Jacks. Subway. You name it, it's there. That's fantastic. There's, there's a lot of people that have really helped, a lot of the pizza people, Beagle Boys. Um, well, the food's there and it's in, in evident behind you. The kids are eating it. I hope they enjoy it. We better not forget Coca-Cola and, and Schweppes who have given us Pepsi. We've got orange juice from uh, Harvey Brown. Fresh. we got uh, orange juice from Berries. The list goes on and on. Browns? I've uh, seen Browns. Yeah, we've got some Browns. That came over with 94.5 actually. Yeah. Uh, my good friend's just been setting off uh, some uh, streamers there in the background. Uh, he's on the 94. There it is over there, the 94.5 boat. 
They've come over with some browns, they've come over with the streamers, and hey, everyone's having a good day. Yeah, we've been the donuts. We, we tried to get some of the guys on the uh, the water skis. That didn't work too well. Yeah, that's Archery, cool. we've yeah. got uh, police divers, we've got yeah. barbecue party boats. Yeah. And don't forget the Crystal Swan, my good friend Kim, uh, her skipper, uh, Robbie. God, without Robbie, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, we're going to catch up with Robbie in just a little while. It's just fantastic. It's just a great day. And we got the fire engine going behind Hey, he, Triple O Promotions is a great, great guy. Look at him. He just came down here without even being asked. Fantastic. And, and we got all the food and all the kids. Well, it's a beautiful day, so let me go ahead and cause havoc and discontent as I do, as you do back home. And uh, your name is? Michael, man. All right, I see you out here being sun smart. Um, so, uh, how, how are you enjoying the day? Yeah, great, actually. Nice skiing, nice food, good entertainment. Nice people. Nice people around me, and that's it, man. <laughs> oh, well, I think you're on a roll there. We're just moving along. And uh, as you're walking, then all of a sudden you turn. <laughs> gotcha. Have a subway? <laughs> no, I don't like it. Thank you. So, how are you doing today? Oh, I had a lot of rides and I had great fun. That's yeah. Beautiful. Now, does anybody want to say hello to? Um, yeah, actually my daughter, Sandy. Hello, Sandy, wherever you are. Okay, now, I detect a bit of an accent. Not that I have one myself, but, uh, now, where, where are you originally from? Germany. Germany, okay, then. Now, you want to say something nice in German to the people over here? Uh, I come to Australia, Germany. It's wonderful here. It's excellent. Beautiful. And we haven't forgot the little people. How you doing, little person? Good. And your name is? Jamie. Jamie. Now, Jamie, now, where do you know these two people from? <laughs> Mom and Dad. I figured that. I figured you hadn't just met. You want a subway? Yeah. See there? Look. Who are the guy? Hey. <laughs> All right, now, do you have any friends at school you want to say hello to before you go back to school? Uh, yeah, just want to say hi to Matt and Stephen. Matt and Stephen. Now, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven, okay. Now, I believe when you're 15, you, those names will change. You'll be saying hello to Sheila and Tanya and Vicky and, you know, as it goes on. But it's good. Enjoy being eleven. Yep. Good. Good on you. And we're just moving along. We got two people. I don't know what... Oh, oh, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. All right, now that's good. Now, I know you have a name, so what is it? <clears throat> Tammy. Tammy, all right then. Now, Tammy, are you having a fun day? I'm an absolutely brilliant day. Okay, then. Now, what brought you out today besides for the weather being nice? Um, oh, I um, met James from Walsey, and he actually introduced me out here, so, yeah. That's good. Now, you seem to have a, I believe that you have a friend next to you. Now, what's your name? Angela. <laughs> Angela. Now, Angela's sitting over here kind of shy now, Angela. Now, um, how have you been enjoying the day? It's been great. Really good. <laughs> we're very happy because, Angela, we're just finding out now. We've been watching you for hours. We're just finding out that you do talk. So that's I exciting. do talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Now, what are you enjoying most about the day? You have some pretty cool headgear, by the way. Who designs your hats? I don't know. Oh. I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll work that out. All right, then. Well, y'all have a good day. All right, then. And we're just strolling along. And we see little people all over the place. Hi, little people. Hello. Hello. Daddy Bing. Oh. This is my daddy. That's right. We already got you guys, but that's good. And your name is still? Emma. Emma. Now, Emma, who do you want to say hello to? Eh? I don't know. You don't know? Do you have any friends at school? Uh, I didn't leave here, but... Oh, okay, then. Do you want to say hello to your mom and dad? Yeah. Okay, so I guess yep means hello, mom and dad. Hello. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. And your name is? Kayla. Kayla. Now, Kayla, how old are you? Nine. Nine. Now, I know you have a lot of friends in school. You want to say hello to anybody? No. You don't know? No. What about saying hello to mom and dad? Oh, yeah. yeah, hello. Did you have a nice Christmas? Yep. You did. Did you get all the stuff you wanted? Yeah. Yes. That's very good. Now give everybody a happy look. Good. Thank you. All right then. Now what do I have to do here? How are you doing? Good, thanks. That's good. And uh, your name is still? Would you like my performing name or my real name? Uh, well, we can have both, but we'll start with your performing name. Well, I'm the fruit salad doll. 
The fruit salad bowl. <laughs> well, that's a pretty happening name. And what's your other name? Tama. Tama. Okay, then. Now, how long have you been performing? Uh, about five years. Okay. Uh, performing company. Okay, then. I was, I was dancing since I was, you know, little. And what's the name of the company that you're going to be performing with today? Vam Darts Theatre Incorporated. Okay, then. Now, you guys got an upcoming performance coming up, so uh, we'll be looking at that, and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be great. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm going to have a little bit of a chat here with the uh, director of the um, company here. And your name is? My name is Raffaella. Oh, that's a beautiful name there. And uh, how long have you been involved with the company? Well, I started the company about um, 12 years ago. Um, the company involves people with disabilities and we do a lot of sign language, we do an amalgamation of puppetry movements which come from people with cerebral palsy. And yeah, the costumes are for the people that are in the company, to uh, people that have you know, hearing impaired or visually impaired, they need to have just as much fun as the audience. So that's why the costumes are so elaborate, the colours are so vi vibrant and the texture. So yeah, it's all put together for that reason. Yeah. Well, you guys have done a fantastic job. And who else are we speaking to here? Uh, my name's Jane. And your name is? Chrissy. Alex. Alex. Okay, then. Now, um, if somebody wants to get involved with this company, is there a phone number? Yes, there is. You can phone 0500 500 315. That's a mobile number. And um, I take all sorts of people and teach them all sorts of things. Okay, then. So you can even work with someone like myself? Absolutely. I'd love to put makeup on you, see what it looks like. You'd look like. great, wouldn't you? <laughs> I reckon you'd look good shiny bronze, actually. You think I look good? I could flex, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> take your shirt off first. Oh, well, that's. Oh, no, just kidding. But uh, thanks a lot, and I uh, uh, hope it all goes well for you. Yes, now check this out. This is one of my tricks. It's not very impressive, one. Well, look, watch. Which one's the dog, Ken? Which one is not Coke? Lugano Bright. Welcome back from the break, everybody. We're still here on the Crystal uh, Swan. I'm speaking with uh, Robbie. How you going, mate? Good, thanks, James. Yourself? Yeah. Awesome. Now, uh, you're the captain of the ship. Uh, how long have you been on it? Uh, nearly a year now, James, yeah. yeah. And how long have you been doing this in general as a career? Well, I've been a professional fisherman for 27 years. Um, yeah, my father was a fisherman before me, yeah, so I've basically been on, involved in the water, you know, driving boats and things for most of my life, yes. And uh, what made you make the transition to doing this kind of work? Um, I don't know, I think after fishing for so many years you seem to tend to want to change. I yeah. thought I'd come down here for a bit of a change and just see what, uh, how the other people do it, you know. <laughs> you enjoying it quite a lot? Yes, I do, actually. I, I enjoy it yeah, a fair bit. Um, it's a bit taxing because most of it's night work. Yeah. Um, you know, it is very pleasant coming out there during the day, but uh, most of the stuff's night work and it goes till fairly late hours at night. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you get used to it after a while, like anything. Yeah. Yeah, now, you said you've got a, a fishing background. You got any good fishing tails? Oh, I could go on, yeah. Plenty of good old fishing tails. Um, God, I've rolled boats over and... Uh, Three miles off the off you know off land and sort of things. So, uh, I've been through cyclones. I've been through tropical storms. Really? Yeah, um, yeah. There's all sorts of things that happened in that time. Um, for instance, one night out of Port Hedland, about 90 miles west of Port Hedland, um, we went to bed about 12 o'clock after packing all the fish. Yeah. And um, about three o'clock in the morning, the boat was lurching sideways and it just about threw me out of my bed and uh, I wondered what was going on. I couldn't quite see what was happening until I jumped upstairs and had a look and we were right in the middle of a tropical storm. It was blowing 50 knots. The rain was pelting down. We got about four inches in a matter of a couple of hours sort of thing. It was just uh, unbelievable. And uh, yeah, within about oh, 12 hours it had gone and was finished, you know, and it was flat all to calm again. So yeah. <laughs> It's just, just one of those things that happened out of nowhere, you know, you wouldn't even think, you know, like 24 hours after it happened, you wouldn't even think it happened really? sort of thing, yeah, so that's what yeah. it's like. Um, it's the sort of respect you've got to have for the ocean, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit rough in it, nature. Um, where, where are we off to today? Actually, Hang on, Captain, there's an iceberg! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. We're actually, we're actually going down along the South Perth um, channel up to the Jetty restaurant, which is up here. 
it's about as far as this boat can go uh, because otherwise it's just too shallow. Yeah. You know, we only draw 1.8 metres. Yeah. But um, oh, sorry, I have to just give it a watch where I'm going here. Right. It's only a very narrow channel, so. Yeah. And uh, you said that you do a lot of night tours. What kind of things happen on those? Um, well, we do. This boat's basically one of the most unique boats in Australia. Yeah. It's uh, there's no other other like it. Um, we do weddings parties, anything, oh, right. basically um, engagement parties, doze nights, you know, hens nights sort of thing. Um, yeah, we sort of um, the boat's basically caters for any sort of particular thing, like cabaret night or a, or a. Uh, a la carte night or you know whatever you know it depends on how many bookings we've gotten you know who wants to go basically yeah but we don't normally take the boat out unless it's at least uh, you know 20 or 30 booked because otherwise it's not you know it's not very viable but as you must understand mm. no worries thank you very much for your time anyway all right pleasure james no is there a uh, phone number do you know if anyone wants to get in contact here before we go there is, what we'll do is I'll get it off you and we'll put it on the screen anyway. It'll be coming up right now if uh, you should, we were watching the show. So thank you very much for your time anyway, Robbie. Thank you, James. I'll see you later. Anyway, we're in the middle of Perth, and uh, we're on Riverside Street. And uh, guess what? I'm here with the lovely Joe Firth from Preston Helicopters. How you doing, Joe? Good, thanks very much. All right. Now, if you could tell us a little bit about this uh, helicopter business and Preston Helicopters. Sure. Well, we're down here, down at the City Helipad on Riverside Drive every weekend. We do a variety of flights from here and we take care of all ages, all sorts of abilities. We have young and old. Uh, we also look after those in wheelchairs or disabled. It's great. People can sit back, have a nice view of town and uh, we'll look after them. Now, um, as far as age goes, there's, there's no restrictions on age. I mean, how old is your youngest and your oldest? We've had babies on board right up to a wonderful man, 103. Well, good on you. That just shows you you're never too young or too old to get into this helicopter. Now, um, can you tell us something about the length of the flights? Yeah. It's just taken off down to a gorgeous flight down the river to Fremantle and back. That's 15 minutes, believe it or not. Wow. No stoplights up there. <laughs> so we also do a nice flight around the city centre, taking in Kings Park, the city, Burswood. And uh, for those that want to do something a bit more, we have a gorgeous flight down the beaches and back up the river. And can you get an aerial shot of, say, you know, the uh, balls and all bus from where we're at? Sure, that sounds pretty good. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> good. That? Yeah, welcome well, I mean, because the gut bus is all over the place. Now, um, basically, if you could just tell us uh, some of the other things that you guys are involved in. As well as the, this takes up a little bit of our time but we do do real work during the week so at the moment a lot of fire stuff and work for Western Power but as well as that we also take people out of town for meetings or for lunch or just to, to show them around so uh, down to Margaret River quite often out to golf uh, out to the wineries in the Swan Valley so uh, anything special people want to do we can look after them. We have different types of aircraft and we can also do like two helicopters together for a group. Oh really? Now uh, for example if I wanted to go to Margaret River now we know to drive down to Margaret River it might take three, four, five hours depending on how many pit stops you have. How long would it take in a helicopter? From here about well, at the most say an hour and a half in our jet ranger in our slightly bigger one. Wow, that saves a lot of time, I'll tell you what. So everybody, let's get down here and have a go. Now, is there a phone number if somebody wants to book? Because since you guys have been involved in balls and all now, you can't just roll up. You got to book now because it's so popular. So uh, if you could tell us a phone number. It is a good idea to book either the 9414-1000, 9414-1000. Did you know we've also got a website so people can look at our flights on the web? No. But go on, yeah. That's uh, under prestonheli.com.au. Oh, beautiful. I knew we was in the right spot. Well, thanks a lot, Joe, and I'm hoping today that I actually get to go up in the helicopter, too. Might be your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go back to, I think we're going to go to a break. Why not? What the heck? No, we're not going to go to a break. I've just been told by somebody, so we're just going to go have some fun, and we don't know what's going to happen. Come along, and we'll set you up, and let's go flying. Thank you. 
Yeah, we'd like to thank everybody today. It's been fantastic. <laughs> I don't know. It's so easy. Nine, ten, give me a call. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so, it was a century. Uh, listen, um, it was a great day today. Had a fantastic time. Uh, it was good, too, that everyone came down, helped out. Everyone got behind the appeal. And this is what today was all about, saying thank you. There were some kids from orphanages there, people who have been through uh, the... Uh, uh, cancer rehabilitation with PMH. Just you know what I like about the whole thing, though, Moose? A lot of people got behind each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to get through this show sometimes. All right. Now, uh, yeah, we'd like to think of an art. Let's, uh, James, a highlight for you today? Yeah. Uh, I think it was. Action Man, the highlight for you. Let's just get you out of the way yeah. first. Yeah. It was pretty good. I quite liked the chopper flight and the jet ski, and pretty much it was a whole pretty it's, good day. It seemed like you was clowning around a bit, though. Um, you were loving to get that one out, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, and uh, Wayne, the, the big highlight really for you today? Well, the highlight for me today was seeing all the young people really enjoy themselves, having a good time. Seeing some of the, um, like, elderly people, you know, just having a great time out there with the young people. And I think it was more of a family event today, so people really enjoyed themselves and got into it. So I was happy with that. And it was all about saying thanks to everybody who got behind the, uh, the big appeal and the Christmas carols and everything else and raising money, and that's what it's all about, trying 
trying to help each other a little bit. And we know we live in the greatest city in the world and, and the, the greatest people too. Sure do. Sure do. Now, James, uh, the highlight for you today, if you can get it out. Yeah, it was a fantastic day. And like Wayne said, it was good to see everyone there just having a good time. Um, the highlight for me, I think, was uh, trying to waveboard. I think I stood up once for about a second. That was awesome. I want to give that another go. Give it and, up. And, and also, if you notice, the, cho the haircut is a bit of a chopper haircut. Is uh, yeah, we, me and Wayne had a cool flight just a little while ago. It was wild. Never been in one. It was awesome. So there you go. I think the highlight for me was just seeing. Yeah. And I even said all that with a straight face too. That was good. good. Highlight for me, I think, was the people that kind of painted their faces up. <laughs> yeah, there was and a lot did of their dancing. Going on. It was. It really was fantastic, and they they really put in and and it entertaining for the kids, and everyone was behind it. So uh, actually, we trying to put in as well. They're always trying to. All right, let's 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 ask the Time Glow uh, competition question. Okay, what is the name of the big boat? The big boat we were on today, glass everywhere, like crystal. Yeah. And we were out on the Swan, so there's a bit of a clue for you. What's the name? Write that down, and don't forget we need all your answers up until the end of March. Uh, then in uh, April we'll be asking, uh, we'll be drawing the the prize of up to two thousand dollars of sports uniform we'll from Time Glow. Drawing it. We could do a whole other show with Wayne. Right. It'll be filmed at two in the evening, right. <laughs> two in the morning. Right. Anyway, uh, hey, what about these? Don't forget. Didn't mention these. Don't forget these guys. Yeah, they get awards for we flying. We got awards for flying. We were up in a helicopter yeah. again, and I haven't been in a helicopter since I was in the military. Back in Nam. Back in, back in uh, Beirut, Lebanon. When I was a boy. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I want to say hi to Tanya. I think I met your father up at Cervantes uh, not long ago. Came in with some beautiful big sea crabs. Fantastic. I'd love to live in Cervantes. There's a lot of fishing going on up there. Yeah. Anyone, anyway, thanks for watching every week. Anyone you want to say thank you to real quick? Yes, I want to say thank you to the man upstairs. And I want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the show the past two and a bit years. It's been fantastic. And uh, we hope you guys keep it up because we're going to do our best to do our best shows every time out. So thanks a lot. I had a good time. I'd like to say hello to that uh, performer I met on the Crystal Swan. Yes. yes. Yes, we good, noticed good one and good perform as well. Yes, we've seen you trying to chatter up. Uh, yeah. And I'd like to thank uh, everyone at the Hemisphere who looked after us on Sunday night. We had a great time, and the J Babies are there every week, so get down and check it out. And okay, bit of news day? in oh. Australia. Hope you had a great Australia Day. day. Advance oh, Australia Fair. Oh boy. Okay, and uh, too, we've got some information <laughs> come up about a uh, an Indian yeah. festival coming up, uh, Indian dances and culture all night and also in March we got some details coming up about a big hungy uh, down in Rockingham they're gonna try to raise funds for the young fellas to go off and play rugby over east so get behind them and I know that we'll certainly be at both of those events thanks to everyone to the wrestling man, had a great time actually, man, I'm, I must say too actually man it's also you thought of something else funny no no, no it's not funny but I just want to thank you that you know let's stop clowning around now oh, let's, let's stop clowning around but I know actually man is, is having a hand kissing contest later on so I mean you know let's all right sure everyone your email. the name of the show is Balls and all. We'll catch you next yeah. week thanks for watching and if you're looking to get on the net or you need an internet supplier give our buddies at WA net a call